Hello, everybody, and welcome to Fade the Beast Academy. This is a bit of a tutorial mod pack, and um, I don't know. I thought I'd give it a shot because you know, it's good to learn. And it's been a while since I played modded Minecraft, and this is the first time on the channel. So I thought, you know, it would be an absolute wonderful job, absolute wonderful start, the start of this. So, I already know how a lot of quests work, I understand. I don't want to say that again yet. Uh, we get a reward. Done. And now we've got use JI. Modern Minecraft has a lot of new blocks and items, so it's hard to remember all the crafting recipes. Luckily the mod, just enough items will make that easier. On the right side of your inventory is a list of every block and item in the mod pack. You can double click the search bar to search for that item in your inventory. Easy. So that's basically, you just press enter. And this is JEI here. So I have this on normal, so all the options and blocks come out there. There's about 17 pages worth. And this is mostly just like your standard. Oh. Standard like tech it and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm going to turn Minecraft's volume like right up. So then it just, everyone can. But we've got all these decorative blocks. Oh shit, I can hear like bees and shit. Uh, Batania, chisel. What else we got? I think there's Thorncraft. Uh, astral sorcery, additional add-ons. Regular Minecraft. And then, I don't know, there's just heaps of stuff. I know there's Tinker's Construction. So forth, so forth. And mob grinding. Now that's an absolute awesome thing you can do. Uh, what else we got? Oh yeah, we got XL food, so we can make food. Yeah, this is Tinker's Construct. So, bit of an editor's note before this, you know, goes back into beautiful Minecraft. I'd like to say, I am actually going to turn this into a full series, but I've only recorded this episode, and there's probably a bunch of GDA that I've got to record. So just bear with me, I've been very slack on uploads, mostly because I haven't had the time. But, um, nah. I just wanted to thank everyone for the support. We're only on 22 subscribers, but I do believe eventually we will grow and, you know, get a bit more massive. So, you know, hopefully things go really good. Anyways, back to the video. All your, like, custom weapons and all sorts of stuff. I think there's also industrial craft. Uh, no, thermal foundation. Oh no, there's... Oh no, it is there. I think there was Twilight Forest, yeah. But it's all here. And there's storage drawers and stuff. So we've done that. Uh, Lenny used. Yes, I've done this. I know about all this. And this just goes through everything about all the crafting. Uh, we've got that. Now we're up to learning about storage. Enter the storage room. I love how it's even got like little arrows. General storage. Open the different types of iron chests. Storage chest. So, this is an iron chest. It's like, I'd say the size of a double? Maybe? I don't think it is. I think it's just a bigger little chest. Diamond chest, though, is a double chest. And then we have a small storage crate. Now, this is double of a diamond chest. No, it's the same size as a diamond chest. And then the large one is... Like an extra two bits bigger. Now, these are storage drawers, and I believe they are locked. But you can left click pulls items, right click um, put them back in. Same with the wood. You can put logs in there, stuff, and then you've got compacting drawers. So that you you just chuck like a stack of iron in there. It would split it into the nuggets. And the iron blocks. But I'm not sure if you can pull each of those out. Uh, what else we got? Oh shit. The grid allows you to access items that are used to store in disk. Which themselves are stored in the disk drive. So just put that in there. So this is an ME control. This is back in the day. Oh my god. <clears throat> you click up here and it gives you a water bucket. Yay. Yeah, I got a water bucket. 
Now, fluid storage. <laughs> Take the water bucket from the refined storage system and empty it into one of the tanks. Black hole tank. And that is storage complete. And now it splits off into automation. Oh no, we're just up to automation. <laughs> right, we're going to do automation. Enter the automation room. Technology and automation. That's genuinely cool to me. What? Bruh. Alright. Open the storage crate on the left and take out some dirt and one of each of the ores. Um, it's, uh, right click the ores only and set the whitelist. Okay. Only. Oh. And then we've got a crescent hammer. Flip the lever, the turn on the server, and watch these items get. Great. Oh shit, Mr. Krabs. Oh shit, Mr. Krabs. Oh shit, Mr. Krabs. <laughs> That's what's happening. <clears throat> Out of the crate. Oh shit, okay. Yeah, you can set servers to work without a redstone signal. Opening its GUI and pressing the redstone button. There you can choose between ignoring rest. That's that. Okay, low. Oh. Oh. Place coal generator and insert coal. Yes. Oh, lead flux ducts. Three and place redstone furnace. Pulverized iron in. <clears throat> and this will give us two. Because that's how easy automation is. Uh, what's that? Replace the flux duct. Upgrade the furnace by right clicking the conversion. Yes. And now what do I put in? Oh wait, what did I actually put in that? Oh. Ooh. Hillary reception call. Then I'm guessing this just goes, yeah. Okay. Oh, that was cool. That's kind of like our first bit. That's just gotten sorted. I'm just double checking how the recording's going. Uh, it's going absolutely well. Probably not going to look, but I don't care. Okay, I'm not a professional. People will watch the academy. <laughs> uh, certificate in technology. Yay! Woo! We got iron. What am I doing now? <coughs> so we've done automation, done technology, and now we're learning about astral sorcery. Wow. Pretty cool. Probably why it's dark. Oh! Oh shit. <laughs> hey. Cool sorcery. Wait. What? Hey. What? Hey. What? Ah. Oh. Can only be found in ancient shards. The power. Make a resonating one. Oh, then it's gonna want us to, you know, search up the recipe for it. Uh, 
I, I think that's how you do it. Uh, <laughs> I don't know what it's called. A luminous crafting table. Uh, uh, oh. A raggy? Luminous crafting table. Oh, I had it. Oh, we had to. Yeah, okay. A, a doy. Collecting starlight. Oh, come on. Make illumination. <laughs> well, that's done. Was that it for astral sorcery? Oh, it was. Learn about Britannia. Let's go to Britannia. Guys, the beginning! Yay! Uh, so, what's our quest? Oh, yeah, so you can break these off into physical petals. So. And then. Oh. I feel like. What? And we do it. Okay. It's got the stuff in there, it's got a white. Oh, it needs two browns. And I could do it, yay! Oi! Generating mana, and then put it here. That dude. Endo flame. I just do that. I think. <laughs> We're done. There we go. That's gonna fill up. Giving. Look at what the quest says. Fill the manor in the manor. That's completely fine. I mean, I don't think it's doing anything. Endo flame.
and I'm guessing this gener generates it really slow. Mana spread is used to transfer mana. The mana click the one of the parts of mana. And do the same on the map. I did that. I've got to fill it. What are you doing? What are you doing? What can I describe like what? Like. Okay, no. I feel like that's what I've got to do. People messaging me. I feel like I'm missing something oddly important. I'm trying to transfer it. Whoops, I've broken it. I have broken it for sure. Endo flame just doing its thing. Oh, I've just, oh, just got to, I just had the whole charcoal on it. Okay. There you go, tackle that. And I just got two ingots in there and I get mana steel ingots. I'm going to just edit this video and just put like the, what is it? Three hours later. Oh, Alvin trading. I've done it. They didn't give it back though, but I've done it. And school's out. Yay, go to the overworld. Teleport the overworld. Okay. Oh, shit. Oh, boy. Oh, well. Okay, we're now in like the Stone Age. Oh. <laughs> what a great time to spawn with old mate Zombles trying to figure out. Oh, he's powerful. He's strong. He knows what he's doing. Um, I mean, we've done the tutorial. That's a good start. What 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 was next? What was next? I've I've done this. So we've done this whole, you know, beginners of the academy. And now, read the journey map. Oh yeah. yeah. I know how to use journey map. Get some wood. Four of any wood, okay. Sure. Easy. Does this game have tree compactor? Dynamic birch tree. Very cool. Oh shit. Oh shit! Okay, got some catkin. Give me that tree. Give me that tree.
Well, that's cool. Oh, shit! Saplings, and I got some canola. And he's got some canola! Grab all of these. Fuck. <laughs> um. We get an F. F for Barnsey. Oh, there's so many mobs in there. Holy sh. There's mobs everywhere. Dark suit. When forests used to be safe, now look. I'm a dip. I live on an island. Well, that sucks. Um, what do we do? We got that one. Heaps of wood. And now we can start off into other things. You know, we can harvest crops, make a bonsai pot. Uh, make the required tinkers concept. Well, I'm gonna do tinkers in the next episode. So hopefully you enjoyed the first episode of Feed the Beast Academy. And I'll make sure that I keep doing this series. Like, I'm going to record a lot of this. But I'm going to take a little break now. Like a little. And then I'll record some more. So anyway, hopefully you enjoyed the video. And I'll catch you all in the next episode. Peace.